Okay, hello and welcome to another video tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to talk about video and for annotating student or providing feedback on student videos. And uh, again, my name is Greg Steinke. I'm the media specialist for CCE and with me today I have... I'm Kimmy Johnson. I'm an instructional designer here in the CCE. And uh, Kimmy has you know, taught with VideoAnt before and has, uh, you've worked with faculty using VideoAnt, so, so she'll have a lot to share uh, about the use of different uses for VideoAnt. Uh, but let's get started here. So, uh, to get to VideoAnt, you want to go to ant.umen.edu, and VideoAnt was actually developed right here at the U of M, and it's free to use. Uh, I think anybody can use it, even if they're uh, affiliated with the U of M or not, but ant.umn.edu and then just click on launch video ant. From here, just click on the big M because I'm guessing you are faculty here at the U of M, so just click on that to authenticate. And it shows that I'm uh, logged in now. That's This is a department account, but I'm logged in. I've got a couple or a few uh, annotations already that I've, that I've tested and um, what I want to do is create a new one. So I'll go ahead and create a new video ant. I'll just click on this button here. And I what I need here is a link to a YouTube video. Now I already have one, but this this link to YouTube video, uh, let's say your students, you know, they record their presentations um, and then they send you a link to their YouTube video. Now some links, some YouTube video links may not work for you. Uh, to resolve that, just click on the video link or add it to your, in a, in a new tab, click on the video. And then once you're there, for every YouTube video, there it has two links. The share link down here, which uh, the student may have sent you, and that, that link will not work or above in the address bar, if you click up here in the address bar, uh, this is the link you want. It's the link with this watch question mark V and then the ID here. So that's the one you want and I'll copy that. And in Firefox and other browsers, uh, the address to this video is is more, I guess, readily apparent than, than it is in Safari. In Safari, you kind of have to click in here to, to show the address, but anyway. So keep that in mind um, when you when you need to load in a video here. So I'll just paste that in. Here's the video link URL. I will load the video. Here it is. Great. And now I can start annotating. So now I can just play Hello, back welcome to the video, video tutorial on how and to I use YouTube to record and add an annotation. So I'll call this maybe title and uh, please add something more visually interesting than this white than this without a title. You know, so that's one annotation. Board of video announcement. I can for go your ahead home. and scrub through the video by kind of clicking and dragging through here. Let's say I've watched it a few times and then I kind of find where I want to leave another annotation, then I can do that. I can click and add another annotation. And uh, lighting, lighting looks poor here. Oh, add it. You know, and then I can, I can elaborate on that point, but um, it adds a really personal touch it is. to the online course. And you can go ahead and click back and forth, you know, uh, with your annotations. So there they are. Now what you can do with this, the next point, next thing I want to share with you is how to share this with your students. So I, they've shared this video with me. I've, I've added my annotations. Now I can share this. Uh, with the students. So what I first want to do is change, is just click on the share button here and then I want to choose, I want to change this from public access because I don't want all the students in the class being able to get to this so I want to change this to 
private. And I'll hit save. And then I can invite. And this is another department account, but I can invite uh, the student to see the annotation. So uh, the student can view or can annotate as well. I'll just keep it as annotate. And I'll save and share. And then on the student side, they will receive an email. Well, as we'll wait for that to, to happen here. It might take a little bit of time. But give me what? So what other ways can can faculty use Video Ant? Or... Well, you've been just demonstrating using Video Ant as a way to give feedback on a student presentation, which is a really great use of the tool. Um, but it's also a great way for students to give feedback to each other on presentations, uh, particularly for final projects, though I always recommend pairing it with some sort of reflection or redirection assignment afterward if you just ask them to annotate without um, doing something else to reinforce the annotations. They, mm -hmm. they may have a tendency to not put a lot of effort into the annotations. Um, it's also a great way for you to have students operate in a flipped classroom. If you ask them to watch a video and on their own during the week, they can actually annotate and do some of the pre-thinking on that video before they actually get to either a live class or um, come to a discussion in an online environment so that they've actually gotten some of the, the low-level thinking out of the way and you're able to get to a deeper level of analysis. Um, one way I like to use it is actually to sort of sum up a conversation that's already been had in class. And so I'll have students annotate um, a video or something that maybe we viewed in class or reviewed the previous week, give us some thoughts after we've already talked about it as a class, and then I can actually export the conversation that they've had in the annotation software put it into, say, a word cloud, and um, so Greg here is pointing to how to annotate as text. You can actually just copy and paste this, this is just a text file, and put it into a, a service such as Wordle that will allow you to actually see what subjects are bring, being brought up most commonly, um, or the, the largest number of times. And you can say, okay, this is what I see is some of the main idea that you guys are taking away from this. Um, but I noticed that nobody's really talking about this other thing that I think that we should definitely touch on because it's an equally important part of the subject. Okay, great. Um, yeah, and how I've seen it being used in the past, you know, a lot of, for any class that has a lot of student presentations and, and speaking and, um, you know, if, if there's any, you know, maybe you have students delivering like a Google Hangout on your presentation, with, maybe with a group. Uh, what's nice about that is that that recording is on YouTube and then, um, and that can be added into Video Ant and you can add your annotations uh, right there. Um, yeah, but it's pretty, pretty basic, you know. It's pretty simple to use from both the instructor and the student point of view. And it's a great way to solicit questions from your students as well. If you uh, are delivering lectures or you have a video recorded guest lecture that you want them to comment on, you can solicit questions from them that you can answer in the following week. Okay, and, and just to follow up here, um, what the student sees when you share uh, a video ant with them is I shared it with uh, myself here. So video, here's a video ant email. And uh, I can go ahead and click on this. And then here I can view it. I can click on the annotations. And I can even My add course. annotations if I have, if the instructor has given me access to, to add annotations. So that is Video Ant. Um, you know, we encourage you to explore this tool. It's really pretty easy to, to set up and get going and to, and to share with uh, students. Uh, you do need, we do recommend that you use YouTube, um, keep videos set to unlisted, uh, even though Video Ant says it supports private YouTube videos, I've found that I can't really seem to get that to work, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, just keep it set to unlisted, and uh, keep it, keep videos in YouTube, and then you should be okay. So, that is it. Thank you.